morning, recumbent trike world. David Victory Cycle coming at you. Now that you got your new trike, you're probably wondering, this valve ain't nothing like the one on my car. How do I possibly put air in it? Well, let me tell you a little history about this valve. Way back after the uh, Revolutionary War, when we kicked the British's butt out of here, Pippi Von Presta said, let's screw the American bicycle rider and make it the most difficult thing we possibly can to put air in their tires, thus creating the Presta valve. Now I'm just kidding, making this up kind of as I go along, so Facebook, Twitter, the rest of the cancel culture, don't delete my video, just, just a joke. So let's get down to seriousness here about how we actually put air in this valve. Okay, this is the Schrader valve, like what you'd have on your car and a lot of your common bicycles out there. Um, how this thing works is, as you see down inside of here, there is a valve that when you depress it, air goes out. Also, when you put the bicycle pump head on there and lock it on, it presses this down and allows you to pump air into the tire, thus inflating your wheel. As you see here, this is the press valve like to come on your new cat trike. So when you push down on this, nothing happens. As you unthread the top, that unlocks the valve stem. And you see, you push down, air comes out. Now we're going to get into three different ways to inflate this valve on your new cat trike. Okay, this is probably the least expensive and easiest way to inflate the tires on your new cat trike. This is called a Presta valve adapter. To utilize this adapter, you simply unscrew the valve to where it stops. Then you place this over it, thread this on. And then after you thread it on, if you notice down in here, you probably can't see it real well. This is now looks just like the Schrader valve on your automobile. Now you put the the pump on of your choosing and you pump it up to the proper inflation and then when you're done you unscrew this then you screw this back down and that keeps the air from leaking down and then I always tell customers to take this afterwards and screw it on here so you never lose it that way it doesn't wind up like in one of your bags or something and he winds up getting knocked out of your bag and lost. This is the second option I'm going to show you for filling up the tire on your new cat trike. It's a billet machined aluminum pump, has a um, air pressure gauge built into it. We have models that do and models that don't. Keep this on your trike, you can use it alongside the rotor, you can use it at home just to fill up your tires. You simply just unscrew this piece here, you bring your wheel back up that's uh, upside down there we go unscrew this then you take this piece here slide it on thread it on until it stops and simply just pump air into your tire and as you see here on the pre on the uh, pressure gauge this particular tire here has about 60 in it Stop at about 80, 85 on these. Just like that. And then when you're done, simply lay the pump down, unscrew this part here. You'll notice a little puff of air come out. That's normal, that's no big deal. Then always remember to thread this back shut. And that's the second way you can put air in your new cat trike. Third way to put air in your new cat trike tire is the home floor pump. A home floor pump because obviously the size of it you're not going to try to carry this on your on your trike it has a pressure gauge down here which you can see and here it has two holes one for pressing one for schrader and to use this you simply pull up your tire again or your wheel unscrew the center again you'll take the small hole put it on here flip the lever up to lock it on and pump your tire up. Then when you're done, reverse process, this down, up. Always remember to screw this shut. That keeps your air from leaking out. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so let's recap again. These are the ways to inflate the tires on your new cat trike. We have the press the valve adapter, the mini floor pump that can be carried on the bike, and we also have the home floor pump. All these items are in stock right now at Victory Cycle. Um, if you have any questions at all about your trike, 
a trike you're looking to purchase, or any items for your trike, accessories, what have you, call Dave or Tony at Victory Cycle at area code 765-452-9717. And thanks for watching.